Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 3 assignment of the course Cloud Computing. Guys, for the past 5 to 6 years, we have been providing solutions for various courses including Cloud Computing. So please support our channel, definitely subscribe our channel and like the video and share this with your friends. So first question, what does a Cloud SLA typically not include? Not include. So for first question, second option could be the most probable solution encryption algorithm details so guys these are completely our probable solutions if we notice any change to be done on ourselves we will definitely update that in the comment section you can also suggest your solutions if you feel any other option is right right next second question a multi-level SLA includes which of the following so for second question third option corporate customer and service levels so option C is the probable solution. Next, moving on to the third question now. Which of the following is a typical metric included in a cloud SLA? So for third question, option C, uptime percentage is the probable solution. Next, fourth question. Which of the following statements is true regarding cloud and web service SLAs? So for this question, so for this question once again third option option C web service SLS are narrower in scope than cloud SLS so before getting into the sixth question I want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation MCQs exam preparation MCQs for cloud computing with five to six years of NPTEL experience we are providing this here you are going to get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link so these are combination of both past assignment MCQs as well as our own handmade MCQs extracted from complete NPTEL syllabus only so 300 huge number of MCQs guys for one person 300 for two to five persons combinedly 500 so if you take it along with your friends or classmates in a two to five persons pack then you, all the 5 members or 2 members can get com for combined price of 500 so individually you can share less amount so one person from the group mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com so this is our mail id guys so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase already many students and even professors have also taken our pack validity will be till the exam results day so no need to worry about the validity high syllabus will be covered within less time guys so don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 MCQs for one person 300 rupees for two to five persons combinedly 500. You will get that in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. Validity will be till the exam results day guys. So there is another membership that is 100 plus MCQs YouTube membership. Here it is 89 rupees only for one person and for one month validity video format. If you want this YouTube membership, no need to mail us. No need to mail us. You can directly go to our youtube channel page so s kumar edu is our channel name so click the subscribe button and bell icon after uh, beside that there will be a join button click on this then a small window will open like that so select the second one videos only for members pack that is 89 per month pack so click on this and now select on this blue color join button and make payment directly to youtube so after making payment directly to youtube you will get access to this playlist members only videos playlist so you'll get all all these videos access once you become join uh, become member of our channel by joining clicking on the joining button right so here you can see we have prepared many subject videos including cloud computing it is part two and part one is also prepared so you can get all these videos not only cloud computing you can get access to all these videos for that same 89 rupees no extra charge needed my suggestion is if you are preparing for a final exam point of view take this 300 mcq spec because you can cover more syllabus, more number of concepts and more MCQ models. So perfect for exam preparation. So for one person 300, for two to five persons combinedly find it. Mail me to this email id bk179417 at the gmail.com. It will be given in the description box also. You can copy it from there. Already many students and even professors have also taken our pack guys. So that's it guys. So keep supporting us. Now let's get back to the solutions. So sixth question. For sixth question, 50 is the probable solution, guys. Option C. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज मोस्ट यूनिक to parallel databases and not shared with traditional relational databases in cloud environments so for this question the seventh one option b multi node distributed query execution option b is the probable solution for seventh question next eighth one you are designing a big data pipeline that processes video files using a cloud native distributed file system which of the following choices is most suitable for scalable storage and parallel processing so for this question the probable solution is option b google cloud storage with hadoop connector so for seventh question google cloud storage is the probable solution now let's move on to the eighth question which of the following is not not supported in map reduced based systems for iterative algorithms like machine learning or graph processing so for eighth question option c it supports pipeline execution between stages so mark option c as the probable solution for eighth question now moving on to the ninth one so a map reduced job is processing 1 terabyte of uh, input data map output is 500 gb and final reduce output is 50 gb if the shuffle and short sort phase fails due to insufficient disk io which phase is affected and why so probable solution for ninth question is option b guys reduce phase because it merges map outputs and moving on to the last question in a open stack deployment if a compute node can support up to 100 virtual cpus v cpus and the over commit ratio for cpu is set to 1.5 is to 1 what is the total number of virtual cpus that can be allocated so for last and final question option b 150 is the probable solution so friends these are the most probable solutions for three assignment of cloud computing hope this video helpful for you and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs pdf pack guys you'll get that in a google drive pdf restricted link for 1 person 300 for 2 to 5 persons combinedly 500 guys so this is the mail id bk1794178 gmail.com so validity will be till the exam results day high syllabus will be covered if you want to try sample youtube video membership you can join our channel for eight, just 89 rupees only but if you are preparing in a final exam point of view for preparation for the final exam definitely take this huge number of 300 mcqs pack already many students and even professors have also taken our pack guys so keep supporting us like this definitely subscribe our channel and please share this with your friends discuss with your friends in your whatsapp student groups and official groups and form a group of 2 to 5 persons to get this this pdf for just 500 rupees combinedly for 2 to 5 members so that's it guys for this video so definitely like the video then only our videos will reach more number of students so that they will also get benefited like you so keep supporting us like this until the next video goodbye thank you